Attention all boarding passengers. The express will soon be boarding for the Trans Mountain Run to Outpost 5. All digging equipment, explosives and firearms are to be checked as luggage. Track 2 is no longer in use and has been permanently abandoned. All right, Dave. So we've seen some question, uh, some teasers at Cedar Point regarding various parks, and we were yes. wondering if you could comment on any of those teasers. Well, I can't comment on what's happening at the other parks, but we certainly know at Cedar Point they've got an area in their park where they have posters and stuff. So, you know, we started off our campaign, and you know, people weren't sure if we were I mean, even going to go out with a tease campaign. But you know, for us, it's about making sure the general public's involved, not just coaster enthusiasts, because it's important. So the opportunity with Cedar Point was they've got some posters. We've got a story that connects a bit to what they're doing it was with their steel vengeance in their area. So we had an opportunity to put in some things about, you know, a little bit of Frontier Canada speak, a few other things. So it was a great opportunity for us. Now, as far as the, the larger scope, um, you know, I have to leave that to you guys to keep digging because there may be a story or two in there. Carowinds is up next. Oh, is it? Now, what about that Giga in the uh, teasing poster? Well, Giga, I think there was a Giga, there was a Z, there might have been a Ziz, there was, uh, there was a, uh, a Google search that said 213. You know, I have to have some fun. Yeah. I mean, come on. You guys get way too smart to find out things, so I've got to have a little bit of fun. We fell uh, for all of it, so you obviously did a good job. <laughs> uh, it was all fun. Alrighty, so as you can see from our eventful day yesterday, we got to ask some questions about these teasers that are popping up at Cedar Point. While they couldn't comment on teasers that were about other parks, there was definitely some information in there that helps us understand that not all teasers are meant to be taken seriously. Now this helps me understand this whole lore concept that I'm going after right now. So as you can see, there's a lot of teasers and there's a lot of teasers directed at Kings Island. In fact, I would actually say most of the teasers popping up at Cedar Point are directed at Kings Island, which is extremely exciting. We all know they just got the antique cars. Everyone was a little underwhelmed because this whole son of beast rumor and all that. But I was never expecting an RMC or a son of beast uh resurrection for 2019. In fact, 2019 is already an expensive year for Cedar Fair and throwing in something this big for 2019 at Kings Island would just be insane, especially since they just got Mystic Timbers. Now, what's really interesting is this new document that um, has popped up and thanks to Pupper on um, our Discord server, uh, we're looking at uh, any emotional roller coasters on Instagram. We're looking at a possible BNM for 2020. In fact, we can almost guarantee that because the timeline for this application um, is for 2018, 2019, and 2020. And we know it's not coming in 2018. We know it's not coming in 2019. So 2020 seems like the year. And this seems like very reliable considering Kings Island, we know, has had a pretty soft year this year. And uh, the park and the chain might be looking to invest heavily into this park to boost attendance. In fact, Kings Island has so much land and so much potential, I definitely see this being an expansion park down the road. So we know it's going to be a B&M. We know that it's probably coming in 2020. Um, and uh, to add on to this whole like lore concept and the possible RMC, I just never saw it. So um, a lot of people are predicting an RMC for Kings Island. And uh, yes... Um, it's a very good concept, and yes, there's definitely a possibility for an RMC, but I always thought b and I mean, I see Cedar Fair working with b and in almost any case they can. RMCs seem like a, a last resort to restore some uh, woodies that really need it. But to go back to this whole, like, really trusting in teasers that you're seeing, as you saw from Canada's Wonderland's teasing campaign, they really threw us off. We went from Giga Dive, we went not Giga Dive, um, and then we started to actually lose faith in the coaster being taller than Val Raven because of teasing and all that, and it ended up being bigger. So, and as you saw in the video clip, they do that on purpose. They want to lead enthusiasts in the wrong direction, and a lot of the times, uh, teasing campaigns are designed for the general public. So we've seen a lot referring, uh, referencing Son of Beast. Now that's interesting because I don't think we're going to get a Son of Beast rebuild. It's not coming back. Um, I just don't see it. But I do see the lore of Son of Beast coming back. I do think you're going to see a roller coaster at Kings Island coming back with this whole storyline involving Son of Beast. It seems like we're seeing a lot of these storylines connect. 
And we were told at Media Day yesterday that Carowinds is going to fill in a lot of this storyline gap. So I'm really excited for August 30th because Carowinds, we're being told to look at Carowinds' announcement and their storyline as it's going to connect to other parks. So I feel like we might learn more on that date and I can't wait to learn more. I want to know what's going on with this whole lore. As you guys know, we've been following this whole project and concept since the beginning of the teasers popping up. Now, as to what I think Kings Island could be getting, this is a tricky one. So now that we know it's B&M, there's two concepts that this park is really missing. Um, they're missing that wing coaster, and they're missing that Giga. Now, a lot of people really want that Giga, and uh, leave it to Amusement Insiders to predict a Giga coming to Kings Island. I mean, we predicted the Giga coming to uh, Canada's Wonderland, and look where that got us. So... It could go either way. Now, if they get a Giga, great for Kings Island. Everyone wants that. It's going to do the park wonders. It'll really draw on the crowd. And it looks like Giga coasters are a part of Cedar Fair's whole development plan. It looks like every park that's in the top tier park is going to eventually get a Giga. So I could very well see that coming to Kings Island. And if it does, I expect it to be a big record breaker. Now, the only reason I don't think it's a Giga to play devil's advocate with myself and enthusiasts is um, each Cedar Fair park that is in the top four or five seems to be getting one world record breaking coaster. Now we know Carowinds has the Giga as their current world record breaking coaster, but who knows, maybe this new coaster that they're going to announce on August 30th will be that, and then Kings Island will be able to slide in and take the records from Carowinds on this Giga coaster. But Kings Island already has the records on Banshee. So I have no idea what's going on here. It could be a Giga, it could not. Um, I'm super excited to learn more through teasing and developments of permits. We don't have that opportunity here in Canada to get these leaks like this. So we rely on enthusiast channels to learn stuff. But I, I find it fascinating because there's you get these leaks, but there's still a lot of missing information. Now, one concept that I really do find interesting is the wing coaster, whether it be a launch or a lift hill. I have no idea, but I'm super interested in what two they will get. I do strongly believe it'll either be a wing coaster or a giga coaster. And I want to hear from you guys. What do you think? Is it going to be a BM wing coaster or is it going to be a BM giga coaster? Whichever it ends up being, I do predict it'll be a world record coaster. I think Kings Island really needs that extra oomph right now to get it over the edge of having a little slow of a year for the Cedar Fair Park. They were the only park called out on the stockholder call. So I'm interested to see what they do. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like, comment down below what you think, and subscribe if you haven't. Share this video, and uh, see you guys in future Kings Island videos. Have a good one. Bye.